Hello everyone and welcome to more Saviors of Old Doom. Um, technically still day one, we're still in the first 24 hours of the expansion. Uh, in between recording sessions, I did a little bit of brainstorming on uh, other new decks that I wanted to try out, as well as uh, making some refinements to a deck I tried yesterday but didn't have as much success with as I would like. Uh, that is Quest Rogue. Um, we're going to go ahead and tr give it another spin here. Um, I decided to move towards more of a Shark Rogue kind of package uh, with the Quest Rogue build. And I think that's probably going to be what ends up being most successful. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. Oh, interesting. Here is uh, what I assume to be Quest Shaman, which is the number one enemy right now. Uh, ooh, this is a pretty good start on our part, though. Definitely gotta coin out the Pilfer on turn one so our underbelly fins can be live turn two, I think. Or Vendetta will be live too. This is a pretty good start. Yep, there's the quest, as expected. Let's see how this fares against, uh, the current villain of the set. Ooh, that's an awful card to get, but uh, we could get worse, actually. I say villain of the set because Quest Rogue is just so obviously, in my opinion, going to be one of the strongest decks. I mean, I think I did a good enough job yesterday showcasing exactly how strong that deck can be. Uh, we're off to a pretty good start here so far, though. Next turn we can potentially Vendetta plus Evil Miscreant. Um, I think we will actually go ahead and do that here. Mm, that's a little unlucky with the lackey. Unlucky with the lackey pulls. Oh, uh, actually, you know what? That's not awful with the Evil Miscreant. And then next turn we can play the Titanic lackey and another Evil Miscreant. Yeah, I decided to cut down on the number of actual Burgle cards in the deck. Um, I still am playing the Clever Disguises, though. Uh, just because I think you do need that little bit of extra reach just to get in there with enough uh, stuff to complete the quest. Now, here's the question. Do I want to... I think I do still want to give this Taunt so that they can't trade here. Um, let's go ahead and do that. And let's go here, and we're good. Yeah, we, we got off to a really good start here so far. Haven't even had to use the dagger yet. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice! Yeah, I was... I should have been a little more weary of MCT in that deck, admittedly. Um, let's see... I mean, I have clean trades as it is now, so I think I can go ahead with just trying to continue uh, getting the quest done here. Um, additionally, I could SI... Uh, no, I don't think that's... No, 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 no I'm good. Um, don't want any of these to be summoned, not particularly. I don't particularly need the crystal either. Um, I guess I'll take the equality. There we go. Yeah, now we have board and hand uh, size on our opponent here. Um, how close are they to the quest? They still got two more battle cries, so I think we got one more turn until the quest comes down. Without a lackey, huh? Just for quest progression? Hey, I got you, friend. Hmm, that's an interesting addition to the Battlecry Shaman deck. I should actually consider that myself. Okay. Um, let's see here. If we SI this, it'll go down to 3 health. That doesn't make a very clean trade, though. Um... Three, two... 
Hmm. Oh, you know what? We could give this more health and then trade here with a dagger. So that's three mana. Um, let's see what we get with the Cable Rat first. Okay, cool. So we did get the Kabold Lackey. I think I want to... Uh, I have enough Lackeys in my hand. Let's actually just go... Yeah, like this. This. And now we can go here. Oh, I should have... No, actually, it doesn't really matter. No, 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 that was fine. Do I want to take this out? I don't feel particularly threatened by it, so I'll go face. Hmm, I'm starting to think that maybe we can make do with more pilfer-type cards. No, 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 I think we're fine. I just haven't drawn very many of them. Hmm. Opponent's hand seems to be mostly late game cards. I'm guessing they have a Swamp Queen Hagatha in their hand, just kind of based on how they're playing right now. Um, let's see, I'm definitely going to make that trade. Uh, I could have just used the dagger, actually. No, nah, I can still use it, though. I can go like here, here, play Force of Nature, and then go face and face. That'll be fun. See, the opponent's quest is live now, but now we're threatening them with a lot of face damage at this point. Okay, here's Zilliax, which is fine. Can backstab that. Heart for a lackey? Which lackey, I wonder? The Titanic lackey, okay. Um, I don't want to equality here. Do I want a Spirit of the Shark for any reason? Yes, because I could give plus two with the Goblin Lackey. That seems pretty good to me. So let's go ahead and do this, this, trade there, kill this with the weapon, dagger back up, take everything else to face. And I don't feel the particular need to play either of these right now, although I suppose it couldn't hurt. Uh, let's give this guy plus two health. This way MCT will be a little less worse. It has a more chance of taking a couple 1-1s. One or at least one 1-1. One one. Bog Slasher is something I've seen in a lot of these Battle Cry decks that I'm not... Hmm. I mean, I guess the double buff is pretty good, but I don't know if I'm sold on it in my build just yet. Hopefully we get something from another class with the Pharaoh Cat. Uh, now unfortunately we didn't, and that's really too bad. That's fine, though. So, Life Drinker is, what, a 7-7? Seven, seven? Um, hmm, might just a quality if that comes down. Oh, geez. Yeah, okay, definitely a quality now. Um, or do we have to, now that I have this Vendetta? No, I don't think we actually even have to anymore, because I could just fill my board with 1-1s. One this isn't an awful turn to do that. Um, I would kind of like to keep the taunt around. However, I could like Mermy plus Goblin Lackey after a quality. Take this out with my weapon. Um, then just like read dagger, save Hyreek the bat for later. Also throw this out. That doesn't seem too bad. Let's let's go ahead and do that. There we go. I 
still haven't completed the quest yet, which is a little annoying. Pretty sure I still have, like, a ton of... Like, I still have both my Clever Disguises, both Blink Foxes, a Hinge Clan Burglar, and a Pharaoh Cat potentially as well in the deck. Oh, God. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. Um, shoot, don't have a lackey anymore. I still have a couple lackey generators in the deck, though. Yeah, this is just a high week of the bat turn. Definitely looking to try to high spare and tog woggle as soon as possible. Hmm, yeah, that, that quest shaman has a lot more catch up than I gave it credit for. That's another card that I don't think necessarily really goes in the quest deck. Uh, I mean, it's not a bad battle cry, but I think there's a lot better ones. Like, I would definitely play Bog Slosher over that. Hey, I got you, Ugh. Yeah, this isn't looking super good. Oh, that's not awful, though. Um, let's see. I really just... Yeah, I think I'm just dead, though. No, well, I don't know if I'm just dead. Let me try this. Oh, that actually counts. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. Okay, so that is going to help. Um, so I'm technically not just dead right now, but it's pretty close. It's probably just GG here, though, this turn, if I had to guess. If not this turn, like, the only thing that could really save him right now is, like, maybe Zilliax. But probably not even that would do it in the long run. Hmm, so that's a card that I was also kind of considering for the Battlecry deck, but... I don't know, it just seems like win more. To me, personally. I, I could be wrong about that easily, but... Yeah, it looks like this is just GG here. Yeah, if only we could have gotten our quest online sooner. We did still have a fair bit of activators still in the deck. I, am, I hadn't considered those Shadow Step on a minion from another class to count towards the quest, though. So that is an interesting thing to think about. Let's see what these next few games have in store for us. Hmm, a priest. Okay. Um, do I want to try to keep Underbelly Fence here in hopes of getting either a Feral Cat or a Pilfer? Um, I don't know. I definitely don't want to play Desert River Crocolus. I think I'm going to put her back. This is a really good start. I'm, I'm into this. Okay, it is a quest priest. Don't know if it's control or zoo. It's kind of funny how, like, initially after all the, or at least most of the cards are spoiled, everyone, myself including, was super into the idea of a quest uh, zoo priest. But, like, now in practice, it, I don't think it's act that deck's actually going to pan out very well. I don't know if the Quest Priest and the Zoo Priest will be good decks individually, but we'll see. I wonder why that card's in the deck. 
I think people were just overhyping this uh, Scoundrel in general. Like, it's definitely one of the better Discover cards, don't get me wrong. Especially for neutral, it's, uh, it's one of the better ones. But I don't think it has a place in a lot of the decks I've seen it in. I think it's more of like a Highlander type card. Um, let's see. I could evolve if I really wanted to. Or I could just play Pilfer. I'm just going to play Pilfer. Uh, ooh, that's a chance for recurring uh, quest completion. No, 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 that won't work, will it? Because I'll be drawing it from my deck. I won't add it to my hand. I guess I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Um... Do I want to Shadow Step this now? Or should I save the Shadow Step? I gotta admit, I don't have a whole lot of... You know what? I need to save the Shadow Step for Spirit of the Shark next turn. Yeah, I gotta admit, I don't have like a whole lot of experience with regular Shark Rogue. Um, that deck kind of came into fruition after I took a little bit of a hiatus. Or before... Yeah, after I took a little bit of a hiatus. So, I could be making some misplays with this deck. I almost assuredly am, but... It's all part of the learning curve, I suppose. That's an interesting choice. Um, let's play Spirit. I'm going to Shadow Step my Cable Rat. And get a couple more lackeys here. Um, I guess I'll get a chip. Well, okay, do I want to get a chip damage in? Do I want to read Dagger next turn? Next turn I'll be on 5. Like, I could coin out this Morgan if I really wanted to. I don't really know that I want to, though. Um, Spirit of the Shark will be good with these next turn. So that's two. It's kind of looking like I am going to read Dagger next turn. So I think I'll go ahead and swing. If opponent wants to spend two mana healing one health to their minion here, I'm totally okay with that. I suppose that is a bit better with the Northshire now, but... Oh, excuse me. Really? That's 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 pretty greedy if you ask me. That's some greedy, greedy face damage. IMO. Um we have eight cards in hand, so we can afford to let's see what spells we get first. Ooh, Plague of Madness would actually be really good here. I wanna take that. Um, three damage to random enemy return all. I'll take pickpocket. Okay, now I would like to play evil miscreant this turn. That'll put me up to ten card. No, that'll put me up to way more than ten cards in hand. Uh, if I take out two cards, seven, six, ten. Da, da, da. That should work, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be fine. Take out the Reborn. Then I'm gonna... Coin. Go here. And here. There we go. That was a pretty nice turn for us there. And that should leave me at 9 cards in hand. Yep. Excellent. That was a really good, um... Plague of Madness to discover there. So opponent's probably going to get some sort of lackey. It's actually not even too far out of the realm of possibility that they just are looking at three lackeys right now. But three mana, three two out of lackey is still pretty good. Hmm, let's see. Maybe there's a pickpocket in there. I'm trying to figure out why... Like, I'm trying to figure out what would be worst for me. Probably a Leroy. I don't know. Okay, looks like they did take a Kabold Lackey. I'm totally fine with that. Now, let's see here. I've got ten cards in hand, so I definitely need to dump some of these out before I start adding a lot of cards, like with Pickpocket or something. Pickpocket here, rather. 
Um, shark. I kind of want to run out the shark. Okay, if I play shark, what else am I playing with it? Shark, and then probably just an assorted number of lackeys, like shark. Um, the goblin lackey here can take out Madame Lazul. And then I can play Titanic Lackey on the Goblin Lackey. That seems pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, I think that's the best line right now. Perfect. Okay. Then I think next turn we can just try to complete the quest with Pickpocket if our opponent doesn't make too much of a tempo push here. Yeah, I anticipated that, but I am totally fine with them wasting their dagger charge on that. Uh, ooh, we've got Clever Disguise as well. Um, I think we should use the pickpocket, though, while we can. Yeah, that seems pretty good to me. Gotta watch our number of cards in hand here, though. Okay, hand is currently full. Do I want to pickpocket one more time? These aren't very good cards I've gotten from pickpocket here. Pickpocketing one more time, and then maybe, like, Witchy Lackey? No, 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 no. It's gotta be Kabold Lackey, right? I want my Spirit of the Shark to live. Okay, Quest is now live. Lady in White, is that even, like, good? In my deck? Uh, I'm just glancing at my deck list here. It's not awful, but it's not great, either. Okay. So now we won't overdraw. I think we're good there. It's funny because even though I don't have, <clears throat> excuse me, even though I don't have a whole lot of plans with the Spirit of the Shark, I still want to leave it up just so like my opponent feels threatened by it and maybe tries to go out of their way to deal with it. Hmm. Next turn, I might even just play something mediocre like Doctor Moore again. Yeah, see, like, I'm totally cool with that, um, penance going there. Hmm, do I want to hero power, though, while I still have the plagued knife? This is looking more like a control, uh, quest deck, so I think I do just want to start daggering for three damage a turn here. I could also evolve... Dr. Morgan. I think I'm actually just going to do that. Uh, let's see. 4-8 that can't be targeted is pretty good. Do I want to evolve it again into an 8 cost? I think I do. Yeah. Let's go for it. Alright, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Eight five, I feel, is probably more threatening. Then let's say, yeah, just have a shadow or death, which I would rather that that get hit than. Well, no, not necessarily. I don't have a whole lot of stuff that shadow uh, or death can hit in the deck. Hmm. I lament that I'm going as slow as I am right now because the opponent's also taking this really slow. Uh, let's start with a clever disguise. Crystal Song Portal. How many minions do I have in my hand? One, two, three. Leroy's not going to get played till later, though. So... Let's just throw out... Dreamway Guardians. SI of the face. Hit, hit, hit. And I think I am just going to go ahead and use the hero power here. Let's start being as aggressive as we can, I think. Uh, it's not definitely not out of the realm of possibility to, to dream right guardians for three minions here. 
Oh, it's a Singleton Priest. Interesting. This is the second time now I've seen Singleton deck um, that's not one of the hero classes. So these people, were, this person and the Rogue deck I played against yesterday uh, are just playing Singleton exclusively for Zephyrs the Great. But you gotta wonder how good that actually is gonna be for them here. Like, I'm not heartbroken by that flame strike. Okay. Um. Yeah, the thing. Hmm. Just again, looking at my deck list, the thing about Lady in White is that it kind of nerfs my deck as much as it buffs it. Um. Let's start with Blink Fox. See what that gets me. Ooh. I like that a lot. Okay. Um, I mean, I'd like to hero power this turn. So, wait, how many cards do I have in hand? Eight. Okay, so I can Clever Disguise here. More Druid spells. Oh, this Whispering Woods is really good right now. Three. Do I have anything else I want to play for three mana? I could just Restore... I think I'd like to hero power as often as I can, so I am just going to healing touch myself this turn. Yeah, I really wanted to play Whispering Woods there, but we can also just run that out next turn for a full board of 1-1s. I'd like to draw my Zilliax, I think, before I play Lady in White, at the very least. Like, it's also going to nerf my... You know, it'll buff my Evil Miscreant, though. I only have the one, though. Um, I gotta think. Do I particularly want to mind control tech either of those? I think the answer is no, especially since I can just get rid of this. Um, I could also just mass the spell, these two. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. Okay, there's the Resiliax. Oh, I should have. Uh, that was bad. I could have saved my Blink Fox. I was not thinking. Um, yeah, let's just summon seven wisps and re weapon here. Hmm, this is taking a bit longer than I would like it to, although I haven't really seen many of, like, the power cards in my deck. Like, I'm really eager to get to High Spirit and Togwoggle on Edwin already. Edwin would have been a lot good earlier in the game. Okay, opponents got their quest complete now, which is a little scary. But if they buff anything too much, I can just mind control it, so I'm not too worried at the moment. Also, I am 100% fine with Mass Hysteria being used on a board of 1-1s. One uh, I think we mind control that. Oh yeah, we, def we definitely mind control that. Thank you. Okay, Obelisk Psy immediately on their own face is a good sign. Okay, so now that I have Zilliax and one of my Hinge Clan Burglars, I think I'm fine with playing Lady in White this turn. Um, although, alternatively, I don't know if I want to play Hinge Clan Burglar this turn because I could go Lady in White. Underbelly Fence, Hero Power. Let's just do that. Like I said, we want to Hero Power as often as we can. Okay, 
Yeah, our board's looking pretty solid here. Uh, this 2-1 uh, clever, what is it? Convincing inf infiltrator is pretty good against their hero power buffing something. Ooh. Hmm, that definitely hurts though. Ooh, that also hurts. Okay, let's see. Let's go... Hmm. See, this is pretty much guaranteed going to kill that, right? I don't think I can avoid that happening. Doesn't look like I can. Is there a more clean way to do one damage? Doesn't look like it at the moment. Conjurer's Calling, huh? That's actually not awful here. I think it's better than the other two. Let's go ahead and take it. And I think I'm just going to use it on my four cost. Okay, that wasn't an awful result. Let's try it again on this one, though. Ooh, that was pretty good. Uh, do I want to Vendetta either of those? Yeah, let's Vendetta the 3-3. And Lazul scheme that so it can't do anything to us. Uh-oh. Hmm, was that a misplay? I feel like they should have buffed their Amit before they played that and got a 110 instead of a 1-7. No, they just wanted to attack... <laughs> um, do I want to Shadow Step any of these? Not particularly at the moment. Oh, I could Shadow Step my Zilliax, though. That would be pretty good. Yeah, that'll be good for taking out the 7-8. Okay, so there goes that. Draw a card with the Cult Master here. Uh, ooh, we even got a live underbelly fence. I don't feel threatened really by either of those. Although I could take the one seven out. Let's go ahead and do that so they don't kill my Zilliax. Okay, this has been a bit of a long grindy game, but we're definitely coming out on top here. Next turn, we could even throw down Leroy. Um, hmm, maybe not. We'll see what happens here. Okay. I think this definitely goes here. Draw a card with that. Yeah, let's just get a bunch of minions here. Or just a bunch of value in general. Uh, ooh, that's pretty good. And hopefully next turn we can just end it with Leroy. Let's see, if they heal up to 17, I've got 6, 10, 13, definitely more than enough. Okay. Yep, we got this. Okay, so after a bit of a grueling matchup there, um, we managed to take down 
Highlander Priest. <laughs> Which sounds like less of an accomplishment now that I say it out loud, but let's see if we can get one more game in here. Um... Okay, got a warlock here. Probably going to be a zoo. Yeah, that's fine. We can coin out Bleak Fox. Ooh, or we cannot. Okay, if it's Zoo, missing turn one is good for me. Is it the is it a quest deck? I mean, they didn't mulligan this card. That could be the quest. No, looks like it's a Egg Zoo deck. I definitely don't think Egg Zoo is right um, necessarily. I think wow, that's a pretty awful, uh, clever disguise. Um, I think Lackey slash Self Harm Zoo is the way to go. That is a pretty impressive start, though, I have to admit. Uh, I can just complete the quest this turn. Question is, do I want to take a chance with Pharaoh Cat? I think the answer is no. Alright, well that's the fastest I've ever completed the quest, and probably the fastest you can reasonably expect to complete the quest is by turn three. That's a good. That's a good rush minion to get. That, however, is not. That is the worst uh, reborn minion you could get. Oh boy. Um, let's see. Yeah, that takes out the two two twos. Is this ever worth it? The answer is probably just no. Yikes. Hmm, maybe I should leave this one in as an example of why I ultimately think that, uh... See, here's my problem with the Quest Rogue deck, is that there's just so many other better tempo decks right now. Like Zoo, and like the Quest uh, Shaman deck. But I don't know if this one's gonna work necessarily. Uh, can I even make it to Plague of Death? I think the answer is no. Eight, twelve, thirteen.
Hmm. Yeah, I think I might try to get one more win in, but this also might end up being the end of the video. Uh, this is about the best that I personally think I can build Quest Rogue. And it doesn't really seem like it's working too well, in all honesty. Um, it just gets out-tempoed by Zoo. Um, can eventually beat control decks, but I mean, other control decks can also eventually beat control decks. Go like one, two, three, four with a minion, or a lackey rather. Ooh, they have one of my favorite card backs. So turn two, turn three. And then four. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it pans out. Wonder what kind of mage deck the opponent's playing. Could just be conjurer mage. That'd be kind of boring, but definitely could be. This also makes me wonder if it's Shark Rogue that's not good right now, or if it's the quest in Shark Rogue that's not good. Definitely something to speculate on. Okay. Um, let's see. Probably just want Shadow Step. Let's just take Shadow Step. Could even Shadow Step this again and play it again. Let's see, that would be seven, eight. That would, yeah, that would be enough to not fatigue me. What the hell, let's do it. <laughs> this almost, this almost feels like pre-nerf, uh, Tempo Rogue, or Raiding Party Rogue, with how much hate advantage I have this early. Let's see, I have four cards in hand. Wait, four cards in hand? I don't know where that number came from. Ooh, huh. the irony. This could be quite good, actually. Okay, yeah, we've done one so far. Clever Disguise will be two. Pharaoh Cat's potentially a completed quest. Um, I think I'm going to start next turn with Pharaoh Cat, see if we get something from another class, and then see if we can complete the quest from there. Uh, I might not be able to hold that many cards in my hand, though. One down to nine, up to ten. Hmm. Could also play the backstab now, though. So let's see if we can complete the quest. Hmm. We don't have a coin in our hand, do we? No. We could still try to complete it. There we go. Ooh, that's a good one to get, too. Yeah, let's go ahead. Backstab one of these. Clever Disguise. We could add a lackey to our hand with that, but we don't really need to. Um, we need to get one of these out of our hand, so let's go ahead and make it this one. Oh, 
Okay, so now we have board hand board and handed advantage as well as a completed quest. Ooh, that's very not good. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like this. There's a Conjurer's Calling coming next turn. Oh, because that deck plays Sea Giant now. I hadn't even thought about that. Shoot. Yeah. Uh, see, this is, again, the problem with me being out of the meta for as long as I have. I haven't been keeping up with the evolution of this Conjurer Mage deck as much as I should have. Although, why would you buff it if you're going to Conjurer's Calling it? I guess they're not going to conjure his calling it. In which case, I need to take out that sea giant ASAP. Um, oh, I should have thrown out the rocket boots. I would have done that if I had realized that was going to happen. I definitely want to avoid playing more minions. Um, I want to hero power too. Let's definitely do that. And then... Should I just trade this in for a lackey? I'm just going to trade this in for a lackey now. So now they can still play Seed Giant, but they can't play Conjurer's Calling with it, fortunately. That Flame Strike kind of suggests they don't have a Sea Giant, though. Ooh, that's good to keep in mind for later. And this I'm definitely going to want a Conjurer's Calling. Maybe I can try to get the Reborn value out of it first. Let's see. Opponent's hand is mostly random spells at this point, right? And one banana. One banana, three random mage spells... Uh, two cards they've had like, like since the beginning of the game, and then their most recent two cards. Bodes relatively well for me. Oh, uh, don't tell me our opponent's gone AFK. Oh, that's going to make me sad. I want to actually win this game. Hand is full, but I still I'm still gonna do this anyway. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like our opponent bailed, but I'm gonna take that as a concede from them. So that's gonna about do it for this showcase. Uh, my verdict right now is I don't necessarily know that this variant of Rogue is better than Shark Rogue. Um, well, it's more like I said earlier, right? I don't know yet if it's that Shark Road Rogue isn't good or that the quest isn't good in Shark Rogue. 
Um, I'm still kind of the opinion of the opinion that you can slot the quest into Shark Rogue relatively easily. Maybe someone who's like more experienced with Shark Rogue than me can try and figure that out. Um, but in any case, that's kind of my verdict on Quest Rogue is uh, a definite maybe. I definitely think it's at least a tier three deck. I think I can see it having potential to be tier two though. Um, so thanks for watching this uh, Savers of Old Doom showcase. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be taking on a, another deck that I think is going to be extremely powerful, one I'm very confident in, and one that I am very eager to try. So, oh, and as usual, let me go ahead and pull up the deck list for this uh, deck here for you. Uh, and also, as usual, that will be in the description as well. Um, so here's the list here. I uh, definitely think you could benefit from the Singleton Sap still being in here. Don't know what I would take out for it just yet, though. Uh, in any case, thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, this is Hexlex. Signing out. Have a good day.